Well, I know I had some of you waiting for this, and it's finally here. 100 things you didn't notice in the Tony Hawk games. Not only did this give me an excuse to fill all my recent passing time with all things Tony Hawk, as if I didn't already, it gave me reason to go back through the Tony Hawk games and really catalog all the things that really made those games so replayable. My goal is to show you at least a handful of things that you've never seen before. I'm going to show you details, glitches, easter eggs, trivia. Alright, enough introduction. We got a lot to get through here. Let's get to it. 100 things you didn't notice in the Tony Hawk games. So there's a little bit of a running gag in all the versions of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. At the end of the mall level, there's a stack of boxes that vary depending on which version of the game you're playing. In the PlayStation version, the boxes are for Apocalypse, which is Neversoft's earlier title that they later used to transform into the Tony Hawk games. In Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X, the game was actually Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer, which was coming out right around the same time, so it was a nice little cross-promotion. In most other appearances of the mall level, the boxes are just for the original Tony Hawk game, which I find a little boring. But the N64 version has an additional secret. As you can see, it says Edge of Reality this time, who was responsible for porting the N64 version, so that's totally expected. But let's have a look on the other side. Only if you have an N64 expansion pack, which is actually a device that increases the resolution and the textures in the N64 games, an additional texture pops up on the back side of these boxes. That's right, it's actually a lady's face. This actually makes for like the third image of a woman in these games that we have no idea who they are. The mysteries keep piling on. So this has always been one of my favorite gaps. And there's a little bit of interesting trivia that goes along with it. If you're to jump through the secret room and then grind all the way the entirety of this quarter pipe against the wall, you get a little gap called holy sh**. Now what I find hilarious is if you do this in the N64 version, look at the change up. It's just too funny to me that Nintendo at some point had some sort of need to do this, whereas now, I mean look, they did Conker's Bad Fur Day, when BMXXX was coming out, Sony censored it, but Nintendo didn't see the need to, and then they put out a game like Mad World, just like, contradictory much, Nintendo? Yeah, I went there. Did you notice on the school level that this artwork here is actually the album cover for Suicidal Tendencies Free Dumb? Did you know if you typed in the letters TYR on the high score screen, the game suddenly really messes up on the N64. No idea what causes this. Really weird. Yet another unsolved mystery. If you turn down the music and the sound options on the mall level, you can notice that the elevators actually have their own hidden music. So we all know Burnside is a hands down classic in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It made appearances in multiple Tony Hawk games after. But did you know that it also appeared in the game Grind Session right around the same time of the original game? How did that happen? Did you know if you wall ride this wall in San Francisco, you actually ride the wall? Only in that spot. Not sure exactly why. Did you know that in one of the Veda versions of the downhill level, there was a secret room to the left of the start of the level? Well, somebody recently figured out that that room is still accessible. They're doing it here in Tony Hawk 2X, but apparently you could do it in the first game, but it's extremely hard to do it because it kind of requires a cheat to do so. What's really cool about this room is that the XY access is totally wonky, allowing you to ride this thing up and down in every direction. This is a really cool recent discovery. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 Okay, so we all know about the roll call rail that if you grind it just at the right time it unlocks this hidden gem. But did you know about this cut rail that actually takes you through the wall if you grind it? And I'm not sure if I've ever seen this covered, but if you keep holding triangle you'll keep kissing the rail and it will eventually shoot you out. You'll be able to explore a very strange, very cool unrendered version of the level. As you can see, I was trying to get the golf cart to hit me out of the wall, but it didn't work. Worth a shot. You can even grind your way all the way back to the original rendered version of the level. Take some skill though. Be careful not to fall. There's some funny graffiti all around Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 that's pretty easy to miss. For instance, did you ever notice Bill and Hillary Clinton? But what about Spider-Man? I gotta give credit to my brother for finding Spidey when we were little kids. Did you notice on the main menu, oh, hold on, if you look closely this happens really quick, but in the full game it actually says not in demo before the level loads. 
Yeah, no kidding, not a demo. We're not playing the demo. Did you know that the South Korean version of this game features members of the K-pop group FinKL? Yeah, I'm not making that up. Okay, I think we might need a paranormal investigator for this one. Look closely in the background during this unlockable retro Tony Hawk video. What is it? They're out there. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X. There's an interesting easter egg on the Tampa level. If you can manage to get to the top of the roof, you'll find this guy in... Wait a second, I've seen that guy. Also in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X, they added this really interesting object behind this location on Skater Heaven. You can jump on this thing and strap in. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. During the goals on the airport level, if you listen closely during the pickpocketing sequence, this is actually a really cool remix from Never Saw Spider-Man game on the original PlayStation. This makes for a great shout out to Tommy Tallarico who did the Spider-Man soundtrack as well as Kurt Rate the soundtracks for the original Tony Hawk games. Did you ever notice that there's a plane flying around on Suburbia? Well, I'm about to make this look easy, but if you hit that plane just right, it will actually drop you a hundred feet from the sky. And this answers how to get the airplane drop cap, as many people thought all you had to do was get really high in the half pipe. Nope. Did you ever notice this funny little message on the ticketer about the baggage claim? We lost your bags again. Very occasionally on the airport, you'll hear this message over the intercom. Mr. This is a funny little shout out to Darren Thorne, one of the game's programmers. If you're quick enough, you can actually get up on this ledge and see where the helicopter actually goes after you make it take off. Which, unfortunately, is nowhere. Did you know that you could break the ceiling on Skater Island? How about this? If you hold down pause during the third freeze of the spinning eyeball in the corner of the loading screen, you'll actually unlock a hidden free cam mode. That dude's chilling, that's cool. Getting some never soft juice. Oh, look at that guy. He didn't even make it into the level. Come on, man, you can get up here, come on. Hey, get yourself back up here. You may have noticed on the airport level there's reflections on all the floors. Well, if I take the camera through the floor, you can actually see that they mirrored all of the objects underneath the floor in order to give the illusion of a reflection. Seems like a lot of work just to kind of give a shiny surface to a floor. So we all remember the Thin Man, very creepy, very weird. But did you know if you approach him as Demon S, he actually falls in love with you? Also, did you notice that you can jump in this creepy door in front of the house? Did you know if you do it as Demoness, you suddenly get a new message? It says, Welcome Home. Well, I guess we can assume this place is hell. Did you know you can get up on this red platform in Japan and make some really trippy sounds? It kind of reminds me of SSX for some reason. Okay, try reading this one out loud a couple times. So you may be familiar with this number, and Neversoft certainly is too. You're gonna see this number a lot in these games. And I never noticed this before until I was just kinda messing around with the free cam for this video. Did you ever notice the tank on Area 51 slowly follows you around? On the cruise ship, you probably more than remember the weird captain who keeps chiming in every now and then. Well, there's a pretty wild easter egg if you manage to destroy every piece of glass in the greenhouse. And it takes a while, so we're gonna jump ahead. You, yes, you skater down there. You have shattered the glass and set me free! From the fiery depths I have returned! The true Captain Jennings! That imposter will not be bothering us anymore! <laughs> uh, 
found yes. somewhere. For your diligence, I offer this bit of advice. Uh, eh, don't jump in the water. It's wet. Uh, thank you. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. So I'm actually going to boot up the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 demo because it has a bit of content in it that was cut out. For instance, there's this hidden tape, and if you know Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, there isn't any hidden tape, so that's kind of interesting. But even more interesting, if you go up on this ledge in front of the frat house and do a manual, a timer suddenly starts to count down. Once the timer hits zero, a sorority girl comes walking out of the fraternity. If you hold the manual, yet another girl comes out. And yet another girl. Not exactly sure why this is here, and not exactly sure why this was cut either. Just really interesting. And as you can see, it's not in the full game. Did you ever notice this little hidden scene? If you hang around the monkey exhibit too long... Ew. If you get yourself outside of the boundaries of the practice level, you can ride up to the movie marquee and... Well, speaks for itself. Have you ever been to the backyards? This used to be a huge, highly debated area back on the Tony Hawk 4 servers, but it's a pretty easy place to get to. It's really just this huge open grassy area with a couple fun glitches. Did you know if you wait long enough on Bam's character selection he begins to punch himself in the face? Did you notice the gorilla having a relaxing time in the teacup ride? And here begins the start of the ever-famous goat easter egg that continues through every Tony Hawk game after this. I think this one actually makes the most sense. It's at a carnival, so you can kind of see where they got an idea for this. And yet it continues through every game. Tony Hawk's Underground. So if you turn the music all the way down right at the start of the game and turn around, you can actually make these ducks quack. If you drive down this street in the out of bounds and then hold reverse after it shoots you out, your vehicle suddenly starts freaking out. If you turn the music all the way down and wait long enough in the train station, you can hear some pretty funny lines of dialogue over the intercom. If you want faster service, pay more taxes. The 420 train will now be departing. Oh, and there's that number again. Did you notice this sign in Manhattan? No Kurt. I assume that's one of the programmers. And here's a pretty notorious glitch that I have to show you. If you were to wall climb this wall and then press down at this exact spot, there's something interesting to notice on the out of bounds of this street. And note that I'm using Thug Pro here because it's a lot easier to get out of bounds in this game. The lines on the street are actually not a texture. The lines are an entirely separate object that extend above the street and you can walk on them. Also, this building out of bounds is actually solid and you can get on top of it and get some pretty sick air. Well, here's another one for you to read out loud. And here's another goat. I guess being behind a strip club, this one still sort of makes sense. Did you know that Vancouver has a Ministry of Bacon? Here's one I totally missed. This bird actually has glasses and a mustache on it. While we're here, I kind of want to talk about a long forgotten myth. Back when this game first came out, there was a huge urban myth going around on all the internet forums that you could unlock a hockey player if you were to score enough points in this hockey mini game. Obviously bull. Did you know that the DJ in Slam City Jam is actually DJ Qbert who has a track in the game? On Hawaii by the Tiki Head, there's a pretty funny written message on the wall. It says, Mirrors cannot lie about how you look, and lucky for you they can't laugh either. You're so ugly, I bet your mother fed you with a slingshot. Damn. And check this brutal message. Making animals suffer since 1983. Damn, who the hell made this level? You can actually jump in this chimney on Moscow and you'll get a pretty funny message every time. Very rarely though you'll get this one, Burninated. This is a reference to Trogador from the classic web cartoon Homestar Runner. There'll be more Homestar later. Did you know if you hit off this no man's head, you'll get the gap fatality and it will bleed from the neck? And I think we all know what that's a reference to. If you get inside this glass dome on Moscow and then turn your music all the way down while standing in the center star, there's some funny and strange audio to be found. <laughs> Tony Hawk Underground 2. 
So the goat in this game is pretty hard to miss. On the Boston level, you simply ramp up this quarter pipe, get off your board, smash through this window, and there it is. This for me is where the egg starts to get a little too on the nose, because I think the implication was plenty clear before. I don't know if they had to go as far as get the guy to rent a room with the goat. Did you ever notice when you're in the Ben Frank area in Boston that all the portraits on the wall are actually politicians and clown face? Hmm, this is a rare socio-political commentary by Neversoft that postures the question of competency in a capitalistic regime. I'm just kidding, I have no idea. I've always found this to be a nice touch. If you can manage to grind on that teacup, that sound is just so satisfying. If you can get out of bounds in Barcelona, you can see this graffiti which says CKY, which is a band that Bam Majira's brother plays in. Did you know you can not just spin on the head of the guy on the motorbike? For some reason, there's a strange gingerbread man staring out this window. Did you know that there's hidden bull dung hidden out of bounds? I would say this object likely belongs to the bull who comes out later in the level, but why is it just sitting here instead of underneath the level? Okay, so I find this one pretty intriguing. You may have a vague memory of looking through this window and seeing a body on a stretcher. It turns out that easter egg only made it through in the PlayStation 2 version. It actually got censored in the GameCube, the Xbox, and the PC version. Now, I'm playing the PC version, so that's why it doesn't show up. But interestingly enough, the object was not deleted from the game. In fact, it still exists in-game. If you glitch yourself inside of the building, you can angle your camera just enough so you can still see the body on the stretcher. The window in front of the stretcher has a mask on it that gives the illusion that nothing is on the other side. It's funny to me that they put this easter egg in and then it was so controversial they had to go through the trouble to create this mask effect in order to hide it. Okay, so I love this easter egg. Look closely at the number on this dumpster. 8675309. Classic song. And look at the number right next to it. Neversoft's favorite number. Did you know in Thug 2 if you were to orient your player completely upside down while off your board you could actually walk upside down on the map? If you can manual the entirety of this concrete slab, which is pretty hard, you get a nice little message. If you wall ride this pillar, it counts your times around. The most I could get was three. If you hit it just right, there's an invisible rail underneath this street sign before you destroy the bridge. Here's another pretty cool easter egg. When you activate this arcade machine on Skatetopia, look closely at the high score screen. If you put these letters together, it says 10 hardcore years kicking your ass. This is a message to the player from Neversoft and it was a reference to them going 10 years strong at this point. Rest in peace. Normally this cat will only temporarily latch onto your head as you skate by it. But if you throw a smoke bomb while it's on your head, it glitches the cat out and you're able to skate the rest of the run with the cat on your head. So on the pro skater level in the Aztec portion, there's this object on the ground that disappears when you step on it. What? Maybe mushrooms? I I'm not sure. Also, if you get out of bounds in this area, you can actually get up through the ceiling and walk on top of it. An out of bounds area on top of a ceiling is typically referred to as a heaven, and this is the largest heaven area in any of the Tony Hawk games. At least the largest known one. Reversely, a player traversable area underneath of a level is referred to as a hell. And there's a pretty large hell on the Canada level if you were to climb along this quarter pipe and press down at this spot. Also, if you not to spin these icebergs, you get another funny little message. The next two you can really only do in Thug Pro. On Chicago, for some reason, these lamp posts are fully wall rideable and it looks awkward as hell. And on Skater Island, you can do the caveman glitch and get all the way out to the cruise ship in the distance and find out it's actually solid. So on the PSP game Tony Hawk Underground 2 Remix, there's a really strange out of bounds easter egg. What the hell is that thing? There's some rumor that this might be the Zero skateboarding logo. But honestly, I think this might have something to do with a hidden animation we haven't found yet. Tony Hawk American Wasteland. So let's get this goat right out of the way. It's actually one of the most hidden ones. 
It's in Hollywood, you simply climb up here and you bust through this wall. Pretty much the same gag as the last one, just a little harder to find. This one kind of surprised me. If you can get on top of this bank in Beverly Hills, and then angle the camera just right, this texture will pop in on the building and it says, Bank of Rich White Folk. So in Beverly Hills, if you get pretty far out of bounds here, you can drop down into this hidden store that sits well underneath the map. The crazy thing is you can interact with the store owner and the entire game crashes. Did you know that you could toss your skateboard into this machine and grind it into little pieces? Did you know if you hit this Gatorade machine with your board, a Gatorade pops out? Whew, thirsty. So here's the Homestar references again two games later. If you can climb yourself to this exact spot, there's at least four different messages that are references to Teen Girl Squad, including arrowed, MSG'd, children, late 360 shove it to boneless. Late 360 shove it to boneless! I have a crush on every boy! Arrowed! Did you know about this secret animation if you board slap this electrical box? Guess what, there's another Homestar message in it. Did you know in East LA you can get into the secret room out of bounds and get a pretty good look at this easy to miss texture? Did you ever notice the wheel of torture in the casino? Tony Hawk Project 8. To see this goat, you have to do the classic goal in the skate park level. Then you have to smash this portage on on this side of the park. Make sure you turn around. Okay, come on now, this is absurd. If you press start and next at the same time in front of this door, you get a pretty odd screen and the entire game crashes. What's with these stores crashing in these games? There's a really fun glitch where if you wall plant a wall and force bail at the same time, your player goes flying. And in this spot, if you fly in this direction far enough, you'll actually fall underneath the entire game world. It's all the space in the world to do endless flatland tricks. If you enter focus immediately after this high speed takeoff, for some reason focus does the exact opposite effect. Instead of slowing down the game, it actually speeds it way up. Here's another interesting physics glitch. If you sit at the top of a quarter pipe at this angle, and then you jump and hold grind and grab at the same time, for some reason that forces the player through where they're standing, and onto the next available lower surface. Oftentimes there isn't a lower surface so the game just bounces you right back out. But on the fun part you can actually force yourself through the floor and stand on these misplaced objects. These objects are used for one of the mini games in the fun part. Oddly enough, I did this one time and the textures weren't loaded on the objects. Not sure how that happened. Tony Hawk Proving Ground. This is a really fun easter egg. Some people thought it was a glitch, but in an interview Neversoft confirmed it was an easter egg. If you were to knock over this security guard... He just gets out of skateboard and just keeps on riding. It's like he was all caught up in being a security guard and then you knock some sense into him. That or he felt the need to ride it out. And guess what, right up here in this location is the very last and final goat. I'm gonna miss this egg. It got a little weird, but we had some good times. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. Did you notice that this game sucks? Whew, all right everyone. I hope you walk away knowing a few things now that you didn't know before about the Tony Hawk games. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Thanks again everyone, your support has been absolutely amazing. It really encourages me to keep churning out more quality content for you. I'm going to have some more for you really soon. Stay tuned.